Hello, my friends. Welcome to my Friday Facebook Live. Just getting the camera adjusted here. Welcome. Happy Friday. I am so happy to be here. I was not live last week. Last week, my husband and I went up to Petoskey. I had a ton of stuff going on, so I just couldn't get on the live. I feel really bad about it, but I thought today I would show you the project from last week. I already showed it um, on Saturday, I think it was, last week, but I wanted to make it for you because it is such a fun fall project. I'm trying to bring up my comments here uh, while I'm talking. If you're watching live, please say hi. I love hearing from all of you. If you are watching the replay on YouTube, hello, welcome. Um, just a few things before we get started with our card. So next Saturday, not tomorrow, but next Saturday, October 1st, is World Card Making Day, which is super exciting. So World Card Making Day is a day where people from all over the world make cards. Stampin' Up! is doing a free event. The link to that event is in the description of this video, and they also have three bundles that they are promoting for this. This is what they'll be using on World Card Making Day for their events. They have all the lists of everything that they'll be using. Plus, when you order any one of these bundles in my online store, you get a free pack of the Iridescent Pearl Basic Jewels. So that is super fun. My computer is, or my tablet is trying to restart. I don't want that to happen. So... <laughs> Let's get started on our project. I am also doing an event next week. I will be posting that. Um, I'll be making an event in Facebook showing you about it. It will be in person um, in Saginaw. So if you are local, be on the lookout for that. I will be doing an event. Today we're going to be using the Nature's Prints Bundle. So this is a clean stamp set with nine stamps in it. And then the Nature Nature's Prints Dies, which are so cool. I love these dies. So there's this really cool wreath, which is how I made that crumb cake wreath, and dies that coordinate with the stamps in the set, plus some little embellishy ones. So let's get started. There isn't a whole lot of stamping to do. I've pre-done some of it already, just to save some time. I do want to show you how I stamped and die cut one of these, though. So I'm going to grab this stamp here, and this is a little ferny, fluttery thing. I never know what the, like, floral fauna things are called. What block do I want? I think I'm going to go with an eye block. So let's put that on an eye block. I'm going to grab some pale papaya. This is one of the 2021 to 2023 in color. So this will go away next um, May or June, whenever the new catalog comes out. I'm not really sure I haven't been paying attention, so I don't know when that is. But I'm going to grab pale papaya, and I'm using very vanilla today. I know I'm always using basic white, but very vanilla is such a nice neutral color, and I feel like it's more muted. Basic white is really bright, so I feel like the very vanilla was perfect for a fall card. So I'm just going to ink that up, stamp onto my very vanilla, and that's really it for the stamping that I'm going to do on camera. I did use Mary Merlot for the sentiment here and for this little ferny piece there. I'm going to clean my stamp off really quick. And then we're going to use the mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine to die cut this piece out. And like I said, I love all of the dies. If you are not into die cutting yet... That's perfectly okay. I totally get it. It can be overwhelming, but if you are into die cutting, oh my goodness, is this a good one? This is a good die set. So I am going to grab the matching die for this stamp, and you see it just goes right over it. It's going to cut it right out. It's awesome. I'm going to move my card all the way just so I don't mess that up. Grab the mini stamp and cut emboss machine. I also wanted to see because I also neglected to look before I hopped on if this will fit, and it looks like it will if you put it a certain way. So this whole die set fits in the mini. You just have to put that wreath a certain way. Whoops. 
I'm just going to put down the base plate number one, a cutting plate number two, my card stamped card stock, and the die. I'm just going to line that up, put the top plate over it, and we're just going to run this through. And I'm kind of holding the plates just so my die doesn't move as it's going through. I don't want it to be wonky and weird. So then when we take it out, we have this die cut piece. I love it. Super easy. So I'm just going to put the mini machine away and then we can assemble our card because like I said, I already did a lot of the work. So I have a Mary Merlot card base. That is another color that I just don't use that often, but it is so beautiful. Like this is just such a lush, rich color. Um, it's not part of the Regals collection, which I think it should be, but it is in the Neutrals collection. So if you are looking for it in your catalog, it's a part of the Neutrals collection. Love this color. Then I have a piece of Very Vanilla that's just going to be our background here. And like I said, I've already die cut our wreath. So our wreath is just going to lay. I'm going to turn it, mess with it. I have a couple of little pieces. There's my other stamped piece in Mary Merlot. There's Mary Merlot there and some pale papaya. And then I have our sentiment there. So I'm going to grab some mini glue dots because I feel like that is the best way to put down the wreath, put down some of these little pieces. You definitely could use liquid glue. Seal might be a little trickier just because it's so wide. So that is so wide and you might get it on places you don't want it. So I definitely recommend mini glue dots um, or liquid glue. And I'm just taking the glue dots and I'm just going to place a couple. It really doesn't take much to hold down this cardstock and I'm just going to kind of hide them behind these big leaves here. Another one up there. And then even if two you wanted, let's say, put one here, well that's kind of big, you can always fold your glue dot in half and press it down. And it will hold just the same. So I'm going to fold a couple of these just so they don't show. And if you want to get really fancy, before you die cut, you could add some of our adhesive sheets to your cardstock, then die cut this out, and it turns it basically into a sticker, which I like to do that a lot of times. I didn't do that this time, but that's okay. I like the glue dots. This is working find where it was and it's stuck to my paper piercer it completely wrapped itself around so we're gonna scrap that one and try again that was weird that's never happened before but why not on a Facebook live so I think that's probably enough glue dots I'm gonna flip this and kind of before I set it down see how I want it to go I think I want it to go like that Try to center it, and then I'm just going to push it down. And now it's stuck. I'm going to move my card base just because it's kind of throwing me off. Don't want to do that. And then for um, the little piece here, I think I want to put down my sentiment first. Let's do that just so you can see where it is. And I have edges of dimensionals. We'll use those. So what I do when my dimensionals are all gone is I just cut the edges because I don't like to waste things and these are still sticky they work just as well so I'm going to stick two of those down and then we'll put down our sentiment and then kind of layer these little pieces around the sentiment I find that's just easier so I'm going to put this towards the bottom but in the middle and then we can stick a glue dot or two if you do it the other way, you could always lay these down and then put your sentiment. My fear is that I will cover up what I just stuck down. So if I do this, let me put it on the wreath. Oops, and there goes my paper piercer. That's okay. Just put it right back in. And then stick down. I think I'm going to stick down this one next. And you could definitely use seal on these larger pieces. I just have my glue dots out, so thought I would use those. Stick that one over there. And 
And that's a little bit different than our sample card, but that's okay. I always have to do things a little bit different. You know, I can't make the same card twice. So I'm going to tuck this one in about there, and then we will add some glue dots to our pale papaya piece. I think I want to do two for this one, though, so. Oh, it's stuck again. Why is this happening? There we go. It never happens to me, and it's happening now. So, there. That'll work. All right. I'm going to put this one right on top, but I'm going to slide it under. And do that. There. That is perfect. So, now I'm going to take seal, and we're going to set this layer on our card base. Flip that around. And then I have a piece of very vanilla for the inside. You could definitely stamp this piece. There is lots of little um, things. You could do the splatters or maybe a flower on the inside. I'm just going to leave it plain today. And then before we finish, I have some of the met brushed metallic dots. These come in bronze, copper, and gold. I used copper on our sample card. Hmm, I think I might go with bronze on this one just because I like that. It goes well with the crumb cake. So that is our card. So I, again, I am so sorry that I couldn't make this card with you all last week, but we got it done. It's made for this week. I will be live again on Sunday in my VIP group. The link for that is also in the description of this video. Come on over and join us. I do exclusive giveaways there. I go live pretty much every Sunday. Last Sunday I didn't because up north, but I did have an exclusive video in there. So we would love to have you join us. And click the link for the World Card Making Day to register. You don't have to register for it, but they'll send you emails as a reminder and you'll get to see all the cool Stampin' Up! World Card Making Day stuff. So the link for that is also in the description. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend and thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time.